Hey guys, welcome to another Mac apps review for you. Um, today the application is Posterino. Um, it is a uh, collage photograph application. Uh, here's the uh, page on the App Store here that lets you know what it is and what it's about. Um, there's the icon there, Posterino. Uh, it says Posterino is the ideal app for casual users and professional photographers alike who want to create beautiful photo collages from postcard to poster size. Um, and guys, this is a extremely, extremely neat application. It takes the really simple, easy to use interface of the Macintosh system and puts it to use and the graphics, the, the way the collages are put together uh, is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, here's a few screenshots that are on uh, the Post Posterino application uh, website here. So let's go ahead and go into it here. I'm going to go ahead and open up Posterino. All right, here I am in Posterino. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, something else. I'm going to start a new document. As you can see here, this right here is all the different templates, and this is just the ones they have um, that they want to put on there. And guys, this is just so, so neat. Uh, 365's got 365 different pictures. You can do a black and white, uh, four seasons, um, postcard, random. Uh, it's just really neat, some, some of the things that they've done here. But the one that I've chosen is the twisted one here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Once you double click on a template you want to use here, you can do the size all the way from four by six inches all the way up to 20 by 30, the poster size. Uh, DPI, which is kind of like the resolution. Uh, if you're not a photographer, you won't that will not interest you at all. Uh, the, the the gist is the higher that number, the better quality you're going to get, just depending on, on on document size. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Once I hit create, I am in this. I'm go ahead. I'm already put into this system here. So I'm going to scroll down here to some of my pictures, and I'm going to go to the one that I was doing a while ago. Um, I went to a minor league baseball game um, probably I believe it was a few months ago and I've got a bunch of pictures here from that minor league game so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop if you see here this interface here I'm gonna make it a little larger you can actually zoom down here in the bottom right you can make it a little larger that's a little too large so let's go ahead there it is if you see here you can put the pictures in their little their placeholders here so I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture here a little green addition symbol there we go a uh, little guy standing up here about to bat you can actually um, you can take that picture and do whatever you want to do with it. You can double click on it uh, and then move him in there so he fits where you want him. There you go. That's perfect there. Uh, the next one I'm going to do here, I'm going to go down here with this picture right here. Uh, there's a picture here of the umpire. Uh, and then let me see if I've got any other pictures here. Let's go ahead and do this one. All right. So now that I have drug all my pictures so much customization is just phenomenal the stuff you can do now once you get your your thing done here you can actually go up here to the inspector uh, and, and it'll it'll give you some like the page dimensions what color you want the background you can change it all that kind of stuff so it's got some crazy customization options here uh, it actually works with aperture iPhoto, Lightroom, so any photo application you may have, it'll work really well with. Um, and then if you want to add a new object, you want to add a new image object, you can go in here, you can click on it, you can drag, you can make your own, you know, double click on it here, move it where you want it, uh, you can delete it, I mean, you know, what, whatever, whatever you may want to do, you can go in here and do it. Uh, you can add a text, so if you want to go in here and put, you know, that there's certain, you know, text you want to put, uh, let's go ahead and put, let's see here, what I want to put here. See here. Let's go ahead and do picture or whatever it may be. That's stupid, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, you know, and then I can move it and, and put it wherever I want it here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that. I do not want to. Um, I do not want to do that. So uh, again, guys, the name of the application is Posterino. You can then shuffle. Watch this right here. You can shuffle the pictures around. You're not happy with where they go? Boom! Just press shuffle. Eventually. You'll, you'll have a, a group of the ones you want in, in the order you want them. All right, once you're done, there's a little uh, thing here, export. Click export. You can save it to disk, send as an email, send to iPhoto, upload to Flickr, or even set as your desktop image. I'm going to save this to disk. Once you do, Postreno is still in demo mode, we'll, we'll, and we'll inscribe the words Postreno. Okay, I've purchased this application, but I haven't typed in the, uh, the code yet. So this application is $29.95 on the App Store. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of that right there. Uh, and once you export it, you can use your image for, for whatever it may be. So, guys, again, the name of the application, there's so much more you can do with it, guys. Uh, it's not just what I showed you. It's just a really neat collage app. You can view it in full screen here if you want to. Um, and it's really, really neat application that you can put pictures and, and, and change them into it. Um, so, anyways, guys, the name of the application is Posterino. Uh, here's the uh, icon right down here, Posterino. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Until next time. Ocean, I'm ankle deep. I feel the waves crashing on my feet. It's like I know where I need to be, but I can't figure out. Yeah, I can't figure out just how much air I.